What's going on you guys? It's me Anarchy Ninja. Today we're we're doing a little different video. Yes, I'm playing right now. Look, oh shoot another roof. But we're not here for gameplay. Uh we're here for the update. It just released a patch note. I can't talk. Patch notes. That's a great start. And uh yeah. We'll have a link in the description if you want to go through and read. Because I'm not gonna read through them. I glanced over them. I wrote down a few uh little notes I wanna go over, but uh yeah, if you want to read them exactly, yeah, go elsewhere. But anyway, we're just gonna go over some. One of the first things is uh, co-op four player. Uh, I don't really care. Get four players, get another with your friends, kill a bunch of bots. That's cool. Not my uh, thing, but hey, I know there's a lot of people that have been requesting that since for a long time. Instant action, one player, you kind of just run around, fight a bunch of bots. Mm -hmm. Cool. It, it's fun, especially if you don't got internet. So at least there's that. That's how the old Battlefronts, or at least I used to play the old Battlefronts before I had online. So I, I get it. I used to do it. But anyway, we're getting to the more interesting stuff now. Again, we've kind of known this a while, but Felucia would get in that map, blah, blah, blah. Unfortunately, it's only uh, Capital Supremacy. That's uh, unfortunate. I really wish we got it for Galactic Assault. But, you know, hey, whatever. I kind of talked about it on the stream a while ago, but I don't want them to add it now for Galactic Assault. If they designed it for it to just be... Uh, Capital Supremacy, don't just copy and paste the map onto a Galactic Assault map. I don't think it'll work. Save the time. But, uh, yeah. Next thing, Clone Commandos. We're getting Clone Commandos. That's cool. Again, the, the scary thing is they, there is more knockdowns and there is more uh, team buffs. We'll get into that later. I'm just going down in order that I read them. So we'll get to that in a second. But they are addressing some of that. So that, that's good. Uh, what do we got here? Next, Luke and Maul. We get a uh, farm boy appearance for Luke and a uh, Kenobi <laughs> emote for uh, Maul. A lot of you guys are saying like we get it tomorrow, but from what I read on the patch notes, uh, maybe you heard elsewhere, or maybe maybe I got bad information, but on those patch notes, it says you get them in October and uh, some challenges. So yeah, we don't get them in this update, unfortunately. They might be added to the game, but not where we can publicly uh, access it. But we'll be getting them in October. We get a new skin, new emote. There you go. Uh, what is next? I'm trying to play and read these notes is very difficult. And shoot this guy. Uh, what's next? Damage. Uh, th this one's a little interesting. Damage and voice UI. Uh, first off, they're adding more voice lines. If you're shooting someone over, you'll, you'll know. They'll talk about it. So that that's not a big deal, honestly. But hey, we'll get to the more juicier stuff later. And you'll now have a uh, what do you call it? Like a user interface. Uh, thing where it's like on the screen you'll know and I like, hope oh, this guy has uh, buffs so at least, at least you'll know that way when you're shooting him I made fun of this in stream because it's not really the most important thing I know when I'm shooting a guy who's buffed I don't need the game to tell me but anyway that that that's not all they're doing on that which is good because that if that's all they did that would piss me off but again we're getting to that later next thing on the list is uh canceled hero abilities now this is an interesting one there's pros and cons to this one uh, how do I explain it? Uh, so if I'm Luke and I go to push Kylo or something, again, I don't know if they actually, these characters actually do it. I'm just using them as examples, so, yeah. Uh, if I go to push Kylo, I click the button, but he pulls me first. I don't actually put the, uh, the push out, so he doesn't go flying, but I get knocked down. But when I get back up, I will lose that push. It needs to recharge. They're gonna refund that. So if I go to push him, he pulls me, I lose it, I get it back right away. Which... It's a good thing because there is times in streams where that happens where I go to use an ability but this guy hits me first or whatever and I lose it even though it didn't go out. That would annoy me because now I gotta wait for the cooldown. Now you don't gotta do that. It's coming back. The bad part about that is this game already has a lot of knockdowns and now they're gonna get even more because even when you did beat him to it and take it from him, he'll uh, he'll get it back and use it on you. So, yeah, again, pros and cons. Uh, what's next? Okay, here we go. This is where it gets a little specific. Again, I'm not gonna go all the way into the numbers but it's about Yoda. The little man is getting nerfed. Uh, I don't remember the numbers off the top of my head, but it, pretty much his overheal is not going to do as much uh, overhealing. Uh, some to the troopers goes down, but not as much, but you, you lose some. Let's just say 30 points again. I don't know if those are exactly, but you'll 30 points less. So that's good because overheal is a gigantic problem in this game. So, especially, mainly I'm talking about the rebels and all the good guys because goddamn, there is so many buffs and overheals with the officers, with the fins, with the, the yodas, and everyone always had help. One of the interesting things in here is they talked about the, the, uh, the health stacking. I thought that was already dealt with and I thought it was just everyone, Yoda did it, oh his ran out, now Finn will activate it and override it and blah blah blah. So you're always having someone overhealed. Now they're addressing that. They're not going to stack anymore. Even though I thought they already did that. I thought they said that, but I don't know. 
But anyway, they're working on that now, so it's not gonna overheal. I don't know why I backed out. I'm not streaming. It's just a habit. Enjoy the loading screen anyway. When he overheals heroes, it actually will be a lot less overheal that he's doing to them. Specifically, more so than it was the the regular fighter. So that's good. It's not gonna be as much health when you look up there in layman's terms. That less health going to the people he overheals, which is good. Again, there's still a lot of overheals and team buffs for the uh, for the light side, unfortunately. But that is a step in the right direction, which, hey, at this point, we do need some steps in the right motherfucking direction. Uh, so that's good. Uh, what else? They, uh, his dash. That's an interesting one. His dash going through a block. Let's say there's a Darth Vader blocking. You hit the RB dash. You go through it. You damage him. They're reducing that damage. That one was interesting to me. I'm, n I'm not against it. I wouldn't say they needed it either. My main problem with Yoda is all the overhealing, but uh, I get it. They're trying to bring him down, but he'll still he'll still do, still, uh, still do the damage through the block, which is good. If they had taken that out like they did earlier when, with that glitch, that would have been bad. So he still does damage through the block. It's just less. So that's good, but his main thing is overheal. And again, all these things I'm talking about, even if it's written down on paper and this is what they're planning to address, when you actually go out there and play, something might happen. They might say they're working on it, and then it doesn't work. So, take everything with a grain of salt. It still might do that damage. For all we know, there'll be a glitch, and he does even more damage. Who knows? But we'll we'll have to just play that one. That's hard to tell. Oh, uh, what else we got? Lightsaber changes. This one's kind of interesting here. Let me see. Let me, let me actually pull that up since this game is apparently over, and I carried my team so much. Uh, let me see. I'll just read this one since we're loading. Let's read it more specifically. Fix an issue that could cause the deflect animation to not show locally, even though the player is deflecting. Uh, that that's not really gonna fix a lot. It's just more visually, like you'll see sometimes people blocking with their hand, or it's like, wow, he's blocking that shot, but he's not actually, you know, blocking. So, eh, visually, it, it's better, but then that that, that doesn't fix saber combat. Let's scroll down. What's the next one? Uh, this one, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what this one means, but it sounds good. Made changes to reduce the risk of rubber banding when deflecting a lightsaber attack. I guess that's kind of when you bounce around. Now we're in an empty goddamn fucking lobby. See the problems we deal with this game? Fix that too! But, uh, so that's good. You're less rubber banding. Anytime you hear less rubber banding, that is a good goddamn thing. Again, enjoy these loading screens. Uh, so that's good. But that's not the main thing. But well, again, we'll go down. This one is where it gets a little more interesting to me. Updated staggers to give more control to the player being attacked. So if you're getting hit, let's say someone spam a swing on me and uh, uh, you start vibrating. To me, that's what it sounds like they're trying to address. They're going to make that better where you're not, well, I guess I would call saber lock. Hopefully that's actually what they mean. Again, we'll have to tell tomorrow. But that, that sounds like it could be good. So maybe you won't be getting saber lock. My one of my big things, I don't know if that counts in the same category, but I dash away, he hits me, and I just appear back. That shit irritates me. So hopefully that's it, it, they kind of seem in the same ballpark. I don't know if that will actually fix that problem, but hopefully at least they're trying. Hopefully it actually works, and hopefully nothing bigger breaks because of these things. So it's gonna be an interesting next few days gameplay wise. Uh, let's see what's the next thing. Fix an issue where lightsaber heroes would deflect the wrong blaster bolt color. Don't care, that's visual. I pff, Doesn't matter to me. Uh, I'm just skimming through now. Boba Fett, jetpack fuel, and eh, boring. Just, it shows different. Uh, nothing in too interesting. Darth Vader. Here, now, here's the interesting one. Uh, we're in the game again, thank God. Uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Fix an issue that would block players from dodging out of Darth Vader's force choke area of impact. This is where we, we kind of... I'm kind of confused with some of what you guys are saying on stream. Maybe you heard from somewhere else, like one of the developers on Reddit or something. I don't know. I'm just reading off this. So if I'm in his choke range and I roll and I'm still in his choke range, would he still grab me with the choke? That's my main question. So the whole time from start to finish, I'm still in choke range. So rolling isn't going to cancel. As long as you're in the range, you're going to get choked. This is the way I'm interpreting it. I could be wrong. So if as long as you're on the radius, he's going to grab you. But... Let's say Vader's over here, the force choke range ends like right here. Like I'm in ra I'm in range to get choked if he hits the button. Now if he hits it and I roll out of the circle, that's when I won't get picked up and then magically fly back. That's the way I'm interpreting that statement. So if I'm in it, oh he's gonna choke, oh I roll out, boom! I'm not gonna get caught where, as of right now, my hitbox, if we wanna call it that, would stay here, I roll. Even though I'm over here, hey, you can't get me, the force choke would pull me into range and uh yeah get me so that to me that's what it sounds like so he's still gonna be able to grab people rolling just not if you roll out of the circle 
That's the way I'm interpreting it. Again, I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I know plenty of you want to. So do it. Uh, what's next? And again, that to me, if that's the way I just said it, uh, uh, to me that's not that big of a deal. It's just annoying that Vader can always grab you, but uh, it, it, it's not a big deal. That's been in the game the whole time. They were saying that's a glitch when it's been that way for as long as I can remember now. So that uh, doesn't really matter to me. I've kind of grown used to it. Uh, let's see. Palpatine's next map. Reduce the camera shake caused by Emperor Palpatine's lightning attacks on this target. That's uh, not really major, but I mean, hey, that, I guess that's cool. You getting shot by Palpatine, you're not going to be shaken. Uh, Fuck it, we'll just go running this way while I read now. I, I got the things up on the screen now. Now I'm just gonna look at them now. Fuck the notes I wrote. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Kylo. Lightsaber effect with all these things. Uh, shoot me, dude. Get out of here, buddy. I'm trying to work here, man. People these days, man. It's like little kids running around. Dark Maul, fix your head. Uh, no, that's boring. Uh, General Grievous, boring. This is another interesting one. Phasma. Phasma has been a troll character for as long as she's been in this goddamn game. I still think she is, and I still think after this update she's gonna be, but this could help. <sighs> Captain Phasma can now pick up the sentry droid. Jesus Christ, that, that could help her. Again, we're still gonna have Phasma's camping, I know everyone hates that, but I mean, it's Phasma, what, what, there's not much she can do. Like I said, she's a troll character, her gun starts out inaccurate and gets accurate. How fucking dumb is that? But hey, you know what? At least it helps, whatever. Because the officers can pick up turrets. But she could. But she would have to blow it up and now you have to lose your cool. So at least now she can just pick it up and move that thing and make her a more mobile camp. Because I know that's one of the things I've heard about a lot of Phasma players. Not just that they're sitting in the turret. They put it down and let's say by their spawn and then not fucking move the entire game. Even if their team moves. So at least this way it gives her the option to pick it up and move to where her team's at. So and they helped her out. Uh, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Uh, I know there was something else. Uh, th this one I was actually talking about a couple streams ago that this was irritating me. So this is good that they're fixing it. Um, Captain Phasma's sentry droid now is destroyed when she is defeated. There'll be so many times I said this bush is like, ah, ah, she got a big bush. Bam, a blaster. Meanwhile, the turret over here is still going to be blasting me. Like, you're dead, bitch. But the turret doesn't give a fuck. He wants revenge. He's going to keep stunning you and shooting you and being annoying. But now, that turret's going to die. They don't say how fast, but hopefully, hopefully, if she dies, that thing dies. Like, just like that. I don't want to have to wait. So, that, that's actually good. That, that's one of the underrated things that's annoyed me that they're actually fixing. So, that, that's good. It might not seem big to other people, but it, it annoyed me in the game. So, that's good. Uh, see, not chewy, boring. Here's where we get to another big one. Ray. Ooh, everyone's hated her since launch. Let's put this. Let me just read it. Fix an issue that would cause Ray's dash strike to completely deplete the stamina bar of a lightsaber hero when blocking. That's huge. So she hits you with that, your stamina doesn't magically disappear, and now she's just gonna spam, swing, and fuck you up. Now your stamina doesn't just magically disappear. So that is big. It's gonna be huge. Can't wait for that. Uh, let's see. Yoda. We kind of talked about it earlier, but Yoda's uh, presence, less points. Yada yada yada. He overheals people less. Uh, dash goes through. Fix an issue where his camera would be lowered if he crouched. Okay, man, how low can that camera go? Anyway, what the hell? That, that is boring. Anakin, boring. I already read this. He's still gonna knock you down. Uh, they're not fixing that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we don't need to talk about him. Uh, moving on. I think mainly Anakin's gonna be addressed. Little tidbit in a future patch if they do the knockdown. Uh, protection like you can get knocked down once you won't get knocked down again again that's not this update i'll probably be later that's why it's like ah whatever anakin will be dealt with sooner and all knockdowns will be dealt with sooner which is good because everyone's spamming that shit don't lie all you got to do is go on heroes versus villain it's either spam swing spam block or spam uh uh what do you call it? abilities that's pretty much it so at least now you're not going to be getting knocked down every two seconds which is great uh let's see i didn't uh, again this one I, I i never really thought this was a problem uh, increase Iden's alt fire recharge time from 2 to 2.3 seconds. I don't think that's going to break her, unless something unforeseen happens. But based off of that, I don't think that's going to break her. I don't think it was needed, though. I never had a problem. Man, she's firing too much. But mainly because, you know, all these dudes just block. Now that's a way that you can counter the, the blockers. So uh, either way, you can still counter it. Just less bombs uh, per second. So that's not big. Uh, I think we covered most of the big stuff. Let me just scroll through. Go ahead and kill me, Yoda. You'll be nerfed tomorrow, my little friend. Extraction map rotation that combined with strike rotation. I nah, don't give a fuck. Arcade, you get more credits per day or per round. I nah, don't give a fuck. 
It's good for all you people who want to do that. There you go. Um... I'm skimming through the map changes right now. There's a lot of stuff, but none of it really seems big. Uh, yeah, none of this seems big. Classes and special units. What we got going on here? Uh, cards, don't care. Nothing big. <clears throat> Arcade, don't care. No, this one's kind of excuse me, interesting. I don't really play Jordicus. You know what? You know what? I don't really play Jordicus, but let's do it while I'm talking about the bitch. I'm talking about you, Jordica. Again, it's not big. Uh, excuse me, but fix an issue that would occasionally cause the Jordica to shake uncontrollably when affected by Anakin, the retribution ability. Eh, at least you're not shaking. Uh, let's see what else. Specialist, infiltrator. I, I think we're pretty much done with all the big stuff. I, I really don't even think I need to keep going. Uh, vehicle changes. Oh, actually, ooh, I did miss one. Ooh, the speeder bike. How could I forget those fuckers? They've been my main, one of my main problems this whole goddamn game. Uh, pretty much they do. Let me, let me just read one. Uh, tweak the damage values for speeders so that they are prevented from potentially killing heroes in one shot. Then it lists the name of all the speeders, blah blah blah. You know who you are. Uh, okay, that's good. Okay, where am I? We, we, I'm trying to play and read at the same time. But anyway, fucking speeders up is good because, man, fuck speeders. Stupid ass cheap little vehicles just chase you and kill you. And all that. That's good. Uh, now I think I'm done. Uh, if I go first. Visual issue. Yeah, we, we, we're at the bottom of the page. So yeah, we, we pretty much covered everything. Uh, let's just go over overall thoughts. I, mm, I don't think this is going to be the big fix for lightsaber combat. I have a feeling this is just like them going to first try it out. Like, Alright, we're going to try fixing it. Here's a little bit. Let's see. Let's test it out. And then they'll tweak it from there. When, let's say, next month's lightsaber fixes. That That's the month I think we might actually get a bigger... Make it a bigger deal. Oh my god, it's so far away! Will they fix that too? Oh, he's dead right here. <laughs> it's a good day. Good shot, crazy kid. Uh, but anyway, at least they're trying to fix that. That's good, because damn, there are so many fucking things that need fixed. And now at least they're addressing them. Could you please start rolling really poorly? That is your name after all. Uh, overheals, they are addressing it. I still think it's going to be a problem. Even though they're not stacking, let's say Yoda's is done. Finn's going to pop one. That's done. Yoda's will have his back, and if he doesn't, there's going to be officers. And the clone commandos are going to have their buffs and all of the buffs. It's still going to be a problem, but again, at least it is a step in the right direction. They're addressing it. And <laughs> GG tank. I would teabag if I could, but these little legs don't get that low. Oh, speaking of little legs, how are you doing? Yeah, not that here. It's, it's worth it, though. So, uh, yeah, well, well, again, we'll have to see because a lot of stuff they put in these notes. And again, this is not a knock at them. This happens to every team of developers. You. you you work on one thing, something else will be affected by it. They don't intend. It's it's just the way updates work. Now, when when something else breaks, which will in this update, that's not an opinion, that's a fact. Something they didn't mean to happen will happen. We just got to hope that that thing that happens is not big. It's just a little thing. Like, let's say, oh, look at that leaf just randomly floated away. Okay, or the monkey. We see these monkeys. Let me see if I can go find one of these little monkeys. I'm not talking about monkeys. Where the monkeys at? Where the fuck? Anyway, these little monkeys that run around. Let's say one of them, the glitches, they just randomly go up and float away. They don't do anything. That's a glitch I don't mind, because it's not messing up gameplay. Now, a bad glitch would be, let's say, Anakin gets to kill you instantly with one of his force poles. That would be a bad glitch. That, that's my example I'm trying to get. So, uh, let, let's just hope it's something minimal. But anyway, let me know what you guys' thoughts are ahead of the patch. Again, if the upload gods will it. I'm recording this on the 24th after the stream, and uh, hopefully we'll upload it, and it'll be today's vid, or uh, Tuesday's vid, and Wednesday we'll, uh, we should be on streaming a lot Wednesday, I'm probably gonna get on early and just do a long Star Wars stream, so uh, yeah, be ready for that, but we're gonna test it out, we're gonna put their fucking writing to the test, on paper it sounds cool, but let's see how it actually plays, so uh, yeah, look forward to that, and uh, yeah, put it in the comments, what do you think, do you think it's gonna be good, do you think it's gonna be bad, do you think there's things that need to not be addressed, because I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting something, I do it all the time, so yeah. Be warned. I'm not doing this over recorded gameplay. I'm doing it live. I don't know why, but I'm doing it. But here we are. So it's probably not as good, but uh, at least we tried. But uh, yeah, uh, if you guys are new, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's stream, hopefully. Bye. Love you. Have a wonderful time. Don't get copyrighted for saying that, please.